My name is Mariana and I'm 18 years old. Although I currently live in the city of Monteria in Colombia, I grew up in Mexico. Since I was little, I was told many legends about my country and I grew up afraid of those terrifying creatures. The one that scared me the most was La Llorona, a woman who drowned her children and since then lives as a soul in pain, in search of other children to give away as an offering. My parents, my older brother Juan and I lived in a house at the top of the mountain. To get there, you had to travel a not so frequently used road. That always seemed wonderful to me. Juan and I had a lot of space to play, we spent hours and hours traveling those trails with our bikes. It was a place with old mines, so the few houses there were abandoned. When I was 8 years old, one of those rides changed my life. We had come a long way and saw that the sky was beginning to get dark. We were by the river that runs through the area where there were a lot of trees and we took refuge while the storm passed. We waited for half an hour, but the rain didn't stop. It was getting heavier and heavier, so in the end we decided to go home despite getting wet. We got on our bikes, but we could hardly pedal, the storm was very strong. My brother found it funny, he kept making jokes about the way we looked with all our clothes soaked. <laughs> my life sucks, I thought noticing how the water slid down my forehead. When we started going up the hill, something froze us. We heard a muffled sound, like a groan. I looked at Juan and scoffed at him for making jokes. He returned the look very serious, he didn't do it and there was nothing around us. He told me to keep pedaling, it must have been the wind. Two meters later, we heard the moan again. Much clearer and closer, it seemed like someone was following us. Juan looked back and turned very pale. He started yelling at me to pedal as fast as I could and to not get off my bike. I couldn't look, but I knew from his face that I should listen to him. I did what I could, but fear seized me and I couldn't stop crying. Tears blurred my vision completely and I fell to the ground. The fall was harsh, I hid myself with some stones, so it hurt me a lot. But that, at the time, was the least of it. As soon as I turned around, I saw in the distance a woman with a ghostly appearance. She was dressed all in white and black hair covered her face. It was her. I was petrified. It was many years ago and I still remember that feeling of absolute terror. La Llorona was approaching me and I wasn't able to move a single muscle of my body. At that moment, my brother arrived, quickly held me to get up and made me sit on his bike with him. He started pedaling as hard as he could, but it was no use. As much as he rode, that woman floated up to us on the ground. She kept crying, even today I remember her moan. I felt an anguish so strong that in my head I only imagined myself submerged at the bottom of the river, drowned like her children. Luckily, we managed to get home. When my mother saw us, she knew that something had happened and approached us, worried. My brother went up to lock himself in his room and ever since that moment he has never spoken about it. I just felt like nothing in my life was going to be the same. I said to my mother, La Llorona wants to kill me. No one doubted my words. After two months we moved to Colombia and although I didn't return to Mexico, I feel that at any moment I can bump into her. My life sucks. Does your life sag as well and you want to share it with us? Send us your story to storiesmylifesags at gmail.com and don't forget to follow us on social media to find out if you are the protagonist of our next video.